where it is. That's really unfortunate. Um, okay, this meeting is being live streamed. One second. Boy, that's something. Just got notification you're live. All right, thank you. Let me just pause it here so we don't hear the Ready? feedback. And we're back. I'm going to hit record. Welcome, everyone, uh, to the ER Shred Come Alive call. I'm your host, Sean Escobar, and it's so good to be with you. We've got a number of incredible testimonials tonight of people who have experienced, uh, you know, this incredible ER Shred, and they've taken back control to, to some extent or another in, in some area of their life. It's, it's just the most empowering thing um, when you eliminate, eliminate what isn't serving you, reset your body, kind of like uh, you reset a computer or you, know, you, you reset um, your hard drive, you reset your iPhone. And then the shred is, there's a little more depth there than people realize, but it's about putting back in all the good stuff and feeding the body and the muscles and everything what, what it needs. And it's also about, you know, shredding all the past habits and all the limiting, limiting uh, self-awareness and so forth. Let me mute everybody. Welcome to the there we go. So you guys, thanks for being with us tonight. We've got uh, these guests I want to get to right away. Um, we posted disclaimers that we don't attend, uh, attempt to treat or cure any kind of illness or anything like that. Wanted to give a thank you to Jesse for his call last night with Dexter uh, Jensen. And Dexter just wanted to say thank you for being another ER Shred superhero who shows up and shares his results on this amazing protocol and shares that forward, inspiring other people. You just, we're so grateful for you. Thank you. Um, wanted to congratulate Jamie Maynard, our new Heart of ER Shred Award winner. We love you. Thank you so much. You're amazing. And um, also, Bob has a call tomorrow night, everybody. It's just a half hour later than this call starts. So just be aware of that. Um, Let's go ahead and start with uh, one of these wonderful people. I think we should start with Michaela Rodriguez because I actually posted her before and after picture of two shreds today. Are you out there, Michaela? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing? Awesome. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Let me just get to get in a little closer here on you so that we all know who I'm talking to. So, Michaela, where are you calling from? Um, from Idaho, Pocatello, Idaho. Pocatello, Idaho. Who introduced you to ER Shred? Um, so actually, I actually think you may know her. You know Sherry Hodge? I know. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's my that's, cool. uh, that's my boyfriend's stepmom. So she called us up and was like, you guys should try this. And so we did. And I fell in love with it instantly. So. Well, um, and, and, and you know, the cool thing is, I, I really want to show people if it's okay with you that picture. Yeah, for sure. Right here. Uh, before I forget, I, I titled it Bye Bye Bloat because you know what? Mm -hmm. It was such a, your result was so similar to mine in mm -hmm. that that lower abdomen was distended on me and I never knew how, how to get that under control. And then, you know, through ER Shred, I was able to, but here is uh, that before and after picture. Uh, two shreds, guys. Two shreds. So, way to go, Michaela. Michaela, what is your passion? Like, what's what do you love in life? It's actually funny. So, I'm in school right now to become a wellness coach. I actually love fitness and wellness, and I want to be a personal trainer. So, um, I've worked out pretty much my whole life, like since I was in high school. And I had a baby in 2020, and kind of lost control of my body, and like didn't work out at all when I was pregnant because I thought it was bad for me and you know, first time mom worries <laughs> that you have and so um after that I really kind of had just developed like an external locus of control like oh now that I'm a mom my body's never gonna be the same like I just have to accept it the way it is like whatever um you know and then once we found I started working out a little bit more and then we found ER Shred and I was like, oh, it kind of reminds 
reminds me of keto a little bit, except without all the gross cheese and stuff like that. It's like, and that has worked for me in the past. So I think this would be yeah. good. And you know, it's less gross. So I tried it and you know, it really worked. The first shred was my biggest results. I lost 10 pounds and three inches on the first shred. And I was like, holy crap, I'm doing another one next week. <laughs> like I felt amazing. So yeah. yeah. No, it's just kind of well that's so cool you know jesse is a health coach and he and susan another health professional were always saying it's so weird because this is an elimination protocol and people are like begging to do it again it's hilarious like you would just never see this um so what other differences did you notice i mean you kind of gave me an indication of what what you were experiencing beforehand and kind of why you needed something like this i get that the the distension of the belly, did that just shock you that that went down like that? Yeah, actually my stomach has been a problem area my whole life. That's just kind of somewhere where I've always had a little bit more fat on me. And honestly, I'm almost, my stomach is almost the flattest it's ever been in my life. And I'm like, hold on a (laughs) second. Like, wait, I had a baby and now I'm skinnier than before I had a baby. Like this is nuts. Like I never thought this would be possible. So yeah, I love that. And not only that, but I do have a lot more energy. Like I work at five in the morning to 1.30 PM and go to the gym after. And then we have a toddler. So I have a lot going on throughout the day. And like before ER shred days were rough. Like I was tired at 2 PM. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know how I'm going to make it through until my daughter goes to bed. And now I'm like at six o'clock, I go and study for my wellness certification and I feel fine. You know what I mean? So it feels really good to just have energy again and not be craving gross foods that I know are bad for my body. So, you know what? Um, thank you so much for coming on and you've, you've covered all the bases. Um, we're so grateful for you. I think it's so exciting that you're in that sphere and that that's your passion, uh, mainly because for selfish reasons, I, I think we would all love to be involved with you and working with you, you know, in the future. And you can, you can use ER shred as, a, uh, a mod- modality, if you will. Uh, it, it's yeah. a way to help people. Mm-hmm. So I've actually, think- you know, personally thought about and thinking of like future clients. I'm like, honestly, this is like a program that I would recommend. Um, you know, I do have to use third parties and things like that to recommend certain sources to my clients. And I would definitely recommend ER Shred 100% for people who are going through the same thing as I am. So that's for sure something so I'll be cool. sharing with other people. So cool. You, you're a superhero. I just want to tell you, you have no idea how many people your picture and this, you telling your story, you have no idea how many people you're going to help. Um, all of us that have been around the block a time or two, we do know how many people you're going to help. All it takes is one picture or one story that, you know, you could throw out 50 stories, but it takes the one that resonates with that individual and yours is going to resonate with a lot of people. I know that. So yeah, thank I you really so hope so. I really hope so. All right, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a what a great way to start this off. Thank you so much, Michaela. Um, since uh, Raza, you are you out there, Raza Aziz? I'm here. Hello, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing awesome, Sean. Good to All be right. here. Hey, so tell me uh, where you're calling from. I am in Toronto, Canada. All right. The cold. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the hat, right? So, Hence the hat. <laughs> so tell me uh, who introduced you to the ER Shred? So the um, um, person who introduced me to the ER Shred was Michelle Schroeder. Yeah. Um, her and I, we had been talking about stuff over, over time. And then she told me, she's like, well, you know, you can you can do this 30 days thing and everything like that. And then 10 minutes later, she messaged me. She's like, you know what? There's this 11 day protocol that you might want to go for. So I'm like, I like 11 days better than 30. So talk to me. (laughs) So here we are. (laughs) That's good feedback for us. I I know that that is uh, that appeals to people and Michelle has helped a lot of people Um, that, that much I am aware of. So uh, she's a, she's a superstar. Yeah. Yeah, she is. So give us an idea. What's your passion? What do you love to do? I, you know, I'm, I'm passionate about life. I'm passionate about health and just really accelerating towards our goals. I believe we live in a world that everything is moving so fast. 
then why is it that we can't attain our health goals fast as well? And, um, and, and that's really like, it, it, it drives me. I've been on my own fitness journey over the past uh, whew, about two years. One year ago, I hired a nutritionist and a coach. And I said, you know what? You create my training plan. You create my nutrition plan. I will just do what you tell me to do. Um, and uh, over the past year, I was, uh, I was on a journey with her. And um, I needed to, I needed this last push at the end because uh, I was stuck at 155 and my goal was to get down to 145. And I'm like, it's December. I've been doing this thing for one year. I'm like, I got to break this threshold. And uh, yeah, so that's what ultimately uh, brought me here. So if you see my life, I'm, it's very evident that I am. I have become, I was not always like this. I have become really a fitness guy and really stand for other men as well, uh, especially above 40, uh, to stand for their own fitnesses as well. So that's kind of cool because you kind of told us, you know, well, maybe you didn't, maybe I better ask that as well. I get your passion now completely. What, what was life like before you got, you know, into wellness and fitness, you know, what, what was your experience before that in terms of quality of life? I've never, I've never really paid attention to this arena until like 2018, I think it was. It was just January 2018. I'm like, I need some new goals. I'm like, why not take on fitness? And I didn't realize how, because when I look at my pictures from 2018 to now, like, oh, oh my gosh, like this, like uh, amazing. I'm, I'm more energetic now. I'm in the best shape of my life at 45 than I was at 35. And so, so it's, been a, it's been a journey. Now, if I just go over the past year, I think I took this journey on. I wanted to get fit, but because I was dedicated to my fitness so much, I'm like, you know what? I got to go for the ultimate. I got to pop out some abs over here. And it has been a freaking journey trying to get them to show and all of that stuff. Sometimes I get like, look in the mirror in the morning and I'm like, I think they're there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's just been, it's just been a push. It's been frustrating the journey. Um, and, uh, and I've made a lot of changes in my, in my eating over the past year as well. And right. um, so ultimately when I was having a conversation with Michelle, about this so she's like okay you want this last push this might be it for you and and that was how long ago uh what that conversation yeah how long ago, like when did you first try the er shred then uh this was um i finished my shred two weeks ago so weeks i ago. started uh, yeah yeah so i started uh december 28 okay yeah okay okay yeah. and what what how did it serve you uh what what uh, what did it serve as that last push that you were hoping for and what is that you know how would you so explain? so when i started i was uh, sitting at about uh, 155 pounds i ended the shred with 147 yeah. uh and uh right now i'm sitting at 148 okay. um it's just a pound just kind of kind of moves around um i think one of the biggest things and by the way I did not understand the shred at all. I just went through, I'm like, okay, you know what? I got this and then I'll learn as I go. And I think that's a philosophy that I've used pretty much in a lot of areas. And I was just going through the guides that are presented and trying to, I'm like, okay, this is what's happening with my body. Okay, I'm taking this now. I'm just following the blueprint that's laid out. I'm just, I'll see how the changes happen. And uh, lo and behold, um, you know, as uh, some of the fat, uh, sh uh, you know, kind of went away, I finally saw some visibility on my abs. And I'm like, yeah. yes, I need to get down to 145. I'm like, it is there. It is there. I know it. <laughs> so I've had this love and hate relationship with my abs. But, but it's really ultimately, it's educated me about food. And I think one of the biggest things that I have gotten, which I personally, I never thought this would ever happen to me, is that when I put food in my mouth right now, I actually know it's reacting to me. And you've, that you've was- that, You've kind of gained that self-awareness around yeah, food. Yeah, 
and you know going through some of the trainings that were that were in the guides mm -hmm. um you know i test some of the foods as i went back to it i mean i haven't introduced a lot of foods but i know the protein bar that i was eating was reacting with me massively when i did have a little bite to it i'm like oh crap this was my favorite protein bar <laughs> No, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. You, you know, it's it, not. But it it's doesn't, God. It's it doesn't God. love it's, you. <laughs> it's not in the house anymore. And uh, the, the, the cravings are not really there yeah. uh, for me. So, it, you know, just really using nutrition as a fuel uh, for, for my body. So, yeah. So give me an idea as, as the guides, I'm going to give a shout out, Heather Sika Leonard. When you talk about the guides, you can just see she just gets all, oh, because she she did all of that and she brought that skill set to the table and she organized everything for us and she continues to do so. So thank you, Heather Sika Leonard. We love you so much. Chief Shredicator, you the bomb. But, uh, and thank you for mentioning the guides, uh, Raza, because it's so important that everybody knows the, the critical nature of those guides everybody could get coached differently depending on who brought them to ER shred, but the guides are, are you know, it's, it's kind of that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a way that everybody can at least get that the guidance and the tracks, the tracks are there. If we just get people with those guides, did you notice any non-scale victories? Non-scale victories? Non-scale um, victories, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just feeling light, much more energetic. Um, I mean, those are just some of the some of the abstract stuff. Mm -hmm. And I have a suspicion. I have a suspicion. I actually have to go back to my notes, but I think I'm lifting heavier. Ah. Just, it, it's a suspicion hey, did, right now. You, I actually have to Have you ever been a it. fat burner before? Uh over time yes oh mm -hmm. over time i mean i used to weigh 178 uh yeah. when i started this journey uh so i had come down to 155 over the over the year yeah. um, and, you know so. raza in, in my experience you know i was if you're introducing carbs on a daily basis to the body then your body it, it becomes metabolically inflexible you're not a fat burner you're you're burning carb for energy and mm -hmm. In my experience, you know, I've been in, doing fitness off and on for my whole life. And that switch, going fat burning, um, fat adaptive, I did notice a massive in increase in strength and in yeah. endurance. I'm still, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Um, yeah. I don't know everything. Sure. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just picking, um, you know, the pieces from the guides and just other people posting and all of that stuff. I still don't know because I come from calorie counting, you know, <laughs> mindset. Right. So I'm, I'm still like, you know, two, three weeks into this kind of thing. So I'm, my brain is just like a little bit all over the place. I don't oh, know yeah. how much I'm eating or not eating or should I eat to gain and all that stuff. So I'm that. still learning here. I love that. Thank you so much. I, I, I love that you're opening up about that. It, it takes vulnerability. You know, it, that's where I was too. And when, when I first learned about all these concepts, it was like, what, what are you talking about? But then you go that route and you realize that it, it's just so far superior. Um, so congratulations. You know, the biggest takeaway from your share that, that I loved the most for myself was when you talked about that internal um, filter, compass, intuition, that, that intuitive eating where, you know, you're starting to listen to that body, that body's speaking to you and you're gaining that ability to communicate with the body and know what does and doesn't serve you. That's, I think that's one of the greatest gifts that comes from this and, and the freedom that is born as a result of that control. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Raza. You're awesome, man. I appreciate you coming on. Everybody, please keep track of Raza and his journey in the group. Raza, I only do abs twice a week, but I blast them for about 15 to 20 minutes. But I warm up a lot because once I tore a lower abdominal muscle, and let me tell you, you don't want to do that. You do yeah. not want to do that. Warm them up like crazy um, before you ever do abs. Warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up, and then you know, built, and which is funny because at the gym, I see people go do leg lifts all the time and they do not warm up 
and they're asking for an abdominal tear or a hernia. <laughs> All right, Mike. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, Raza. All right, next up we've got. Okay. Kimberly, are you out there? Uh oh, you're muted. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. Hey, tell everyone <laughs> your full name and where you're calling from. I'm Kimberly Cole. I'm from Brandon near Tampa, Florida. We're still very warm, hot. I'm jealous of all the snow pictures. But <laughs> <laughs> it's the other way around for everybody else. I know. <laughs> So tell me, uh, who introduced you to the ER Shred? Actually, I stumbled upon ER Shred in another group. Um, someone commented, uh -huh. um, but I kind of give credit to Mimi because she was literally the first person. The minute I joined, she was friend requesting me and chatting with me. So oh, Mimi, gotta love my Mimi. <laughs> the heart of ER Shred. Um, that's, that's yeah, sweet. and she's a fellow Floridian. So, you know, we had a little bit in common there too. I love that. I love that. She's helped so many people, inspired so many so people. So sweet. Um, and what is your passion? Um, passions for me are my family by a, by a mile. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, 56, but I have four kids, um, twins in the middle, um, a young one and an old one, four, three boys, one girl, and my husband, of course, can't forget him. <laughs> um, and my mom, bless her, she oh. just passed this summer, but I dealt a lot. I'm coming from a different point with this, I think, than a lot of people here um, on the on the call tonight, probably. Um, you know, I started at a very, very heavy weight. I mean, like exorbitantly high. Um, but a lot of my weight, I was a competitive gymnast all through, you know, my young years and into high school. Um, so I was always athletic and always fit. Um, but then I, I let everything get in the way, you know, I'm a giver, I'm a caretaker. Um, I put myself last for 15 years and once my mom, my mom, even in her, you know, extreme Alzheimer dementia state, she said to me, baby, you need to put yourself first because you've always given to all of us. Mm. So when she passed, I took that to heart and I had been, I joined the shred or the group in like May and I kept watching because she was very ill during those two months. So I didn't want to commit to anything at that point, but I read the guides, Heather, all of them front top to bottom, every single solitary thing, including the store. I even saw the store connect there. So there you go. <laughs> um, so I studied very, very heavily um, before I decided to do this. And I made the decision in August and I started my first shred in September with the group. Um, cool. yeah. And I, I'm, and, I've been get, so happy. Go ahead. I mean, just keep flowing with that. What unfolded for you? Well, everything, everything unfolded for me. Um, I, I had to first forgive myself for, for letting myself get to the point that I was at. I think that was really key in my success. I had never done that before. I had tried diet after diet after diet, but I had never said, Kim, you, you, you gained the weight move on, forgive yourself and go. It's okay. I mean, I was doing myself no good by beating myself up every day about the weight I had gained. Um, so I, I made that decision. I get teary, so I get teary when I talk about it because that was a big shift for me with the ER shred. Um, I, I, I found my mindset and I have not varied from it on vacation. I have not varied on it over the holidays. Did I have a small little sweet treat? Yes, one, but I was able to have one and I did not beat myself up about it. I jumped on the next day and kept on keeping on. So that's a difference for me. Kimberly, for, from like a therapeutic perspective, how, how does one forgive themselves for that? Because that's going to be a very common thing. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. I, I finally just, I had to look myself in the mirror and I had to find things that I still loved about me, not just the weight. You know, mm -hmm. I found, I looked in the mirror and told myself, I physically literally talked to myself before this. And I said, you have been such a great caregiver. You're such a great mom. You're a great friend. You're a good wife. You're still pretty. You just, you just got to get yourself first. So I, I had to find those words of affirmation. And I did the five love language um, thing too. I read the book uh -huh. and I am a words of affirmation person. I, I need that. And I had to give myself that. And in doing so, I think I was able just to forgive and move on. 
I'm never going to be the weight that I was ever, ever, ever again. Never. I'm not going to go there. So. I love it. I love it. I'm just, I'm just pausing for effect because you're, you're imparting a, a lot of emotion, you know, oh, it's, thank it's, you. it's really quite beautiful. What, um, what did the ER shred do for you? Well, unlike weight, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of weight loss. My first one, I, cause I have such a big amount to lose. I think it was more of a percentage thing, but I lost 18.3, my first shred and, um, 26 inches overall, six in my waist. Um, yes big difference for me. I mean, for now I'm on my third shred right now. I'm on my cleanse day with the group. Um, but I mean, I'm already two bottom size pant sizes down, even they're getting big. Yes. Um, I, I can feel my waistline again, which is great. Um, I had to buy new bras. That's, that's awesome for me. I would say as a woman, that's a big deal. Um, they were falling off. All, the, all the women simultaneously go, Oh, yeah. Exactly. You know, keeping it real. I mean, that's a big deal. That's great. Um, so yeah, th those kinds of things. And then I just got back from vacation with my family. We went up to the mountains and previous vacations, I had to exclude myself from literally everything, even shopping. I would have to sit on the bench while they went in and did things because I was so tired. My fizz yes. my knees hurt. My feet hurt. Everything hurt. <laughs> I did everything on the trip this time, except zip lining. Cause I'm I didn't quite yet meet the weight requirement. Well, I, but wouldn't, I'm gonna I wouldn't have done this. I probably wouldn't have done the zip lining either. So well, I do it. I'm going to do it next year. I'm going to be in that weight limit next year. Oh, killer! I love that. Yep. Yeah. So here, here we go. We got to dig further because yeah. Uh, you know, this is just beautiful, and and um, thank you. I think that your story. Uh, for, I want to tell you how much I respect you, and thank how brave you. brave you are for coming on here because. You are saying that I'm not where I need to be or want to be or hope to be yet. Yep. Yep. But you're on this call and you don't know how many times I talk to people and they say, oh, Sean, I, I would really love to come on and share. And I, I intend to, but I... I just want to wait till I'm further along is what they'll say. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am. Um, I almost, I think I did say that to you the first time you asked me, but then I decided, you know what, there, there are people out there like me that have 140 pounds to lose or more or less. And this is a place I can say where I've, I've never once felt judged. I've never once felt like an idiot. If I ask a question, I mean, Heather's corrected me on a million things and I love that. I appreciate that tremendously. Um, cause I'm still learning like Rosa, I'm still learning too. Um, and I think we all should be learning if we're not learning, then we're just going to stay stagnant. We're just going to, you know, not for every, um, you know, this has been my line of work for 20 years. Uh, and, and, uh, I learned a statistic that for every, um, one person that is overweight, uh, we'll say, you know, uh, you know, to that extent, they're overweight. For every one person that you see out in public that is is overweight, um, to that extent, there are uh, four people who are at home and never leave their home, not ever. Yeah, it's a sad and, place to be. And that's what I hope to change too. And I think we all do. We all hope to change that. And the only way we can change that is if we make it safe. And how do we make it safe? Uh, we make it safe by being uh, what we really should be anyway, which is tolerant and understanding and kind and, and uh, you know, and, and, and the cool thing is it's a rallying cry. Even you being on this call is a rallying cry that, hey, we got, we got a place over here that you can step into and you can grow and you can achieve and you can overcome. And it, you know, hey, these guys, we're all linking arms and we're all doing it together and it's safe. Yep. It feels safe. That That's, I want to thank you for that so much. Sincerely, from okay. the bottom of my, of my heart, on a personal level, I have so much respect for you for coming on. You. What other non-scale victories do, did you notice? Well, besides the clothing fitting, um, for me personally, I've dealt with bad knees since gymnastics. Um because I was a, a highly competitive, you know, high level back then. And I pounded the crap out of my knees at, by the time I was 18. <laughs> so, but I've noticed the arthritis-ish feelings. I wouldn't say it's 
truly arthritis. I don't know, probably it is, but I've noticed that has diminished a lot for me. Um, walking has become easier. I, I have a small bonus room with a narrow staircase upstairs and I haven't been up there in eight years until I, until I got up there at Christmas. And that was a wow, big deal. Wow, wait a sec. I, I mean, so wait, 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 wait. You have a bonus room and you hadn't been up there in how long? Eight years because I couldn't climb the stairs. It was too hard on me. I was and too now heavy. You can, I, now you can go? I can go up and down. I've been up there three or four times cleaning out. Yeah, big deal for me. You're a yeah. shredder. I love it. No, I love it too. It's a great feeling. It's it's little it's little things. And I'm just going to add one more thing for, for people that are out there like me with a ton of weight to lose and, and a health journey. Set small goals because that's been my mistake in the past. Mm -hmm. I looked at it as the whole. And when you look at 140 pounds in my case or so, it's daunting. And mm -hmm. this time I said, you know, I'd like to have 25 pounds off by Thanksgiving-ish. If I do, great. If I don't, that's okay. But that's my goal. And then when it came to Christmas, I said, well, I'd like to be in this sweater and it not be too tight um, and those kinds of things. Um, and I'm not rewarding myself anymore with food. It's, I'm not centering everything I get around food. I'm centering it around better quality time with my kids and my family um, and things that are non that are non-food related, like going to get a spa day. I've been too embarrassed to lay on a table to get a massage. I'm going to go do that soon. So just those things. I just want everyone to be encouraged by the small victories and, and, and don't beat yourself up no matter what. If you mess up, get right back on. It's okay. I'm right there with you. Would you say that this has been, uh, what's different between this and, and anything else that you've, that you've done before? What would you say? Um, well, I think getting the mindset right was the first thing that's different. Um, and the support from this group has been just tremendous, way better than anything else I've ever done like that. Wow. Um, being with like-minded people that, that, that think like you. Um, and for me, I guess what's been different is I let everyone know. I mean, to the point of almost being obnoxious with my family, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to be shredding these dates. Do not cook any cinnamon rolls. Do not cook anything I like. Do not cook anything in this household. You know, and I've been kind of, you know, grumpy about it at times, you know, because I want to make sure that there's nothing going to derail me. Absolutely nothing. And I, I don't think I would anyway, but just preparing everyone around me. That's been different, I think, with this. Yeah, you're kind of owning it a little more is what I, I think I hear you I'm, say. I'm that. putting me first. I'm putting myself in the front burner versus the very, very, very back of the old stove that you almost wanted to sell. That's where I, I was before. I feel the same way. It's like, if we're going to do anything, you know, the old saying, Hey, if it's worth doing, do it right. Yep. If it's, if it's, you're going to do it, do it right. Or don't do it at all. And so in this case, if you're going to do this protocol, if you're going to play all out, you know, you, you got to what you got to close your chicken exits. That's one, yep. uh, you know, you, you got to know your limits. You got to create boundaries and that's yep. exactly what you're doing. So yep. thank you so much, Kimberly. We love you're you. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope everybody will continue to follow your journey. You've been uh, incredible at showing up in the group for others. So <laughs> thank you so much. So you're fun. Welcome. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. Now you're an ER shred warrior. I, I mean, am. It's, it's a I was so passage. nervous though. Mm, it's a rite of passage. You, you done <laughs> did it. Everybody that comes on here, man, you, you guys pass. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, and that's just the way that, that we're approaching this. I mean, anybody that takes back control, they're a hero. Anybody that, that shares it forward and tries to reach other people, they graduate to a superhero. And, uh, but the rite of passage on this call is the Shred Warrior who comes on because guess what? It's also incredibly intimidating to go live on video for anybody, for everybody. It's intimidating. So just another level of, uh, <laughs> another level of, Savage. Lori Baum, are you out there? Just hit on mute if you're out there, Lori. I'm here. I'm Hi, here. Lori. Hi. Wow, you've got quite the incredible mane of hair. I oh, mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all kill for that, that beautiful well, hair. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. So where are you uh, calling from? Um, I live in, I'm in Delray Beach, Florida. Oh, cool. Who introduced you to the ER Shred? Well, a couple of people, actually. Um, Lisa Oaken, um, who oh. I've known for 
many years. Um, I know she's been very passionate about the program and she had a shredder um, who's a friend, uh, the husband of a good friend of mine, um, Jeff Appel, who um, has oh, had yeah. a lot of success in the program. And between the two of them, um, I decided to give it a shot. So. Oh, I'm so glad you did. We love Lisa so much. She is she is a, a heart of your know, Shred Award winner as oh, well. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And then Jeff has had tremendous results. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool to learn all of that. Um, and what is your passion? Well, my passion is helping people, motivating people and inspiring people. Um, I'm a medical speech pathologist. I work um, in neuro rehab and I work a lot with stroke patients and um, individuals who've gone through probably the, one of the, some of the worst things um, and not being able to communicate. And um, I've been doing it for 25 years and I love what I do. Um, but like some of the others have said, you know, put everybody else first and don't always think about our own health. And that's kind of what drew me to this. Yeah. So, you know, fill us in. How was like prior to the ER shred, what kind of things were we're not, uh, you know, we're not treating you well, or we're not, you know, fitting right for you. What were you struggling with? The worst nutrition habits ever. Um, I mean, I had, when people say to me, oh, what did you eat for the day? I'd be embarrassed to tell people, you know, well, for breakfast, I grabbed a couple of cookies on my way out. And then while I was at work, I had a couple of, you know, Snickers that were in the jar, you know, in my office and I wear masks all day. And so I'm always stuffing things into my masks and having to move on to the next person. And I really just didn't put any time into any nutrition and I would just binge eat. Like I would be starving by three o'clock and then I'd pull over to a place and just eat whatever I could. Right. I just had the worst eating habits and I was very addicted to ice cream. I don't know if anyone else can relate. But <laughs> a lot of people just, can relate to that. Okay, like really bad, it, it, was, it was bad. It was like I would pull over to an ice cream place and go and get myself ice cream and sit and eat it in my car. Um, and so, <laughs> I definitely had a, a major sugar addiction. Yes. Um, a lot. Like I, I need, I craved it. And, and give us an idea. Cause that, I mean, that's not uncommon. Thank you for, thank you for offering that up. Uh, it's very <laughs> honest. I, I think that that is very commonplace. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's very normal actually. I don't think it's normal for people to admit it, but it's very normal. I think most everybody is that way. So Give me an idea. Um, you go on ER shred and your, your nutrition habits, not so good. Um, cravings, obviously out of control. And mm -hmm. so what unfolded for you? Okay. So what unfolded for me is that, you know, I, I'll tell you where I'm at now. Um, I've been, this is my 10th shred. What? Wait, 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 wait. When, <laughs> when, how long ago did you learn about this? Um, I've been doing this since October 26th. Oh man, you've just been um, going back to back then. Yeah, I've been, I have not stopped shredding for 10 weeks. I've lost over 26 pounds. Uh -huh. um, I have lost over um, 16 inches. Yeah. I've gone down two and a half pant sizes. And um, I have not had any sugar, or any carbs for almost two and a half months. No. Like I, Wow. I have been so disciplined on this program that on Thanksgiving, I had an 18 ounce steak. I had no pumpkin pie. I had no stuffing on Halloween. I had not one piece of candy. I mean, I've been really, really sticking with this thing. Um, so you, you seriously went from this end of the spectrum and <laughs> now you've gone completely the other way. Is that the type of person that you are? Are you a fanatical type person? I'm the type of person when I put my mind to something, I can achieve it. And if I, if I believe in something and I really want it bad enough, I can do it. Yeah. And I think Lisa knew that about me. And I'm basically, you know, I just turned 50 and um, I, my father died at 58 from heart disease and my, my um, cholesterol was high and my triglycerides were high and I got really scared yeah. and I have three children. So I knew I, I needed to step it up. And that's when I contacted her and I spoke with Jeff and I'm like, all right, let's just do this thing. Um, and I was open to it and I haven't stopped. I mean, that bone broth, when I first drank it, I couldn't even drink it. Now I okay. love it. Um, <laughs> you know, the, um, the chocolate wafers, I was like, ew, and now I crave them. So wow. The products are great. Um, mm -hmm. They're very, very palatable. And 
you know, if I don't have a shake, I feel like I need it. I, if I yeah. run out, I have to call her and I'm like, hurry up, get me that, that powder. I need more. <laughs> okay. I got to ask you, a, I love your joy. I got to ask you a very um, pertinent question. Are, have you been able for 10 consecutive shreds, you know, since October 26th, have you been able to conquer this propensity to turn to the sugars and the carbs and the, the cravings through willpower or do you feel empowered? I feel empowered and I'll say, this is how I say it. I feel like the food doesn't control me anymore. Wow. Like I can look at a chocolate bar and it's like, you can't get me because I'm not eating you. And I feel like, I feel like I, I'm not controlled by it. It doesn't do anything for me. Like when I go into an ice cream store to get something for my kids, I give it to them. And I'm just like, no, I'm not interested. Um, which is, which says a lot. I mean, I just, I have not craved sugar. The only thing I, I those little chocolates that you have, those chocolate delight, those snacks that you have, I'm obsessed. Which one? Um, the little, the little Scooby snack wafers? The, the milk chocolate. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're great for people that have blood sugar consideration. Uh, yeah, they're good for like a fasting day if you can't really make it. Yes, um, right. You know, not a fasting. Yeah, fasting. So yeah. Um, I really like those a lot. And I honestly, I just keep following it. I mean, I'm just trying to get to my goal. I want to lose another, you know, 15 more pounds. Um, but not even just the weight. You know, you're talking about non-scale victories. Yeah. For me, it's it's more the energy. I mean, I used to yawn all the time. Like I could not stop yawning. I'd be on the phone with my mother. She'd want to check me into a hospital. Like, why are you yawning? Why are you yawning? <laughs> um, I don't yawn anymore. Um, I get, wake up in the morning and I'm off to work. I don't hit the snooze bar. And I've been working out with a trainer and I have a lot of energy now and I'm getting in shape. So I definitely think this works. I'm, de I, you know, I believe it works. I wouldn't be doing it and putting myself out here if I didn't think Ooh. it worked. It's so good. You're touching on every point. Um, I just, I like this notion that, uh, tell me if this is true for you because it's cer certainly true for me. If you guys think I'm sitting funny, I actually have a, a back <laughs> support on and I've got a basketball back here. I'm, I'm still suffering with the thrown out back, but getting better. Um, but just wanted to say, would you agree? This is what I feel like happened for me. Would you agree that we've got satiation over here, satiation meaning that the body's getting what it needs to feel satisfied. And then we've got deprivation over here. And I would say that the majority of diets and uh, nutritional regimens, uh, why is it that you feel on those as though it is punishment, as if you are suffering, as if, you know, you're being deprived and you have to summon the willpower. Whereas with ER Shred, you're satiated and you are satisfied and you feel empowered. And, and it's almost like a switch is flipped boop, and it's mm -hmm. like, boom, satiated. And I don't need all that crap. And why am I not turning to it? Because it got me where I was. Mm -hmm. And that's not mm -hmm. where I want to be. So mm -hmm. is that true for you as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just, it, it, it just, your palate changes. And I didn't yeah. ever believe that that could ever happen. But um, I would eat something now if I even took a little taste of a piece of broccoli or something. And I just don't need, I didn't even want it. Like, I just, it's my whole palate has changed as a result. And I don't feel cravings. Like I have to drive to my favorite place and go sit there and eat an acai bowl in my car. I just, you know, have no interest, but they actually wonder where my business is. And I, unfortunately they've lost a lot of business. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, friend. And thank you so much for being the Australian warrior coming on you. here. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, these, you know, guys, I want to keep digging, but you know, that's what's amazing is there's just there's so much more we could dive into we really haven't even asked people about the emotional component um about the relationship component there's so much depth here with the er shred and we're just barely scratching the surface um but i hope you guys will all continue to come in the group and play when i say come in the group and play what that means is show up 
And what I mean by show up is not just being there, showing up means let us get to know you more. Let us take this journey with you. Let us be a part of it. Keep sharing and keep growing. And um, so much of what we've learned about the ER Shred has come through this collective experiential process. It's been unbelievable. So please be part of that with us is, is my invitation. Thank you so much, Lori. Um, Carrie Snyder, are you out there? Uh, while Carrie unmutes, I just want to say if there was one more, I can't access my, my list. I have a problem with my phone, but if there was one more, please drop it in the chat and say, Sean, I had planned on coming on tonight, and we'll make sure that, uh, that we get you as well. Otherwise, I think Carrie might be our very last. You out there, Carrie? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for all your your participation in the group. You're very active and, and you've, you know, you've made a big difference. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. You. Where are you calling me. from? Calling from Venice Beach, California. All right. Very cool. Who introduced you to ER Shred? Facebook did. It was a suggested page. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's cool. Um, all right, let's let's roll with that then. What is your passion? Filmmaking. Filmmaking. Are you mm -hmm. okay? Tell uh, me yeah. about that. You're a filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker, uh, actor, filmmaker, festival founder, and producer. Um, but I also was doing home physical therapy. But that really wasn't my passion. Although it did teach me how to be a better director. Wow, so, that's so cool. If somebody's not grasping it. You got to step back and recommunicate. So but filmmaking is my passion. I love that. That's awesome. Well, it's cool to have a filmmaker with us. Yeah, I, I, yeah you know, not too many people can say they're friends with a filmmaker. So now we got, we got a filmmaker in the group. There you go. Okay, so give me an idea. Um, uh, you know, ER Shred is introduced to you. Uh, how, how does that work? What, what were you feeling like? What was life like? And, and then what was uh, your experience? I sent you a picture on Messenger, if you can go in and grab it. I started okay. actually on Isogenics in 2016 or 2017. Okay. And then what happened, what I started to feel like was like, I'm using the cleanses as kind of a way to like, oh, I can go and kind of treat myself and go eat some pastries and sugar or whatever. And then oh, I can just cleanse. And so it was a different kind of yo-yoing. So you, were yo you were yo-yoing, yes. I was, because you can use the cleanse for that as like an excuse. Like, oh, I can go and do whatever I want to do, and then I'll just come back. Hilarious. You know what? That was We actually used to teach that in our marketing. I'm ashamed to admit it, but we did. We would actually say, you can scribble all over your page of life. You can eat what you want, do what you want. And then every now and then you just turn that pencil around and, and erase those effects. Mm -hmm. Not so true. Not a good idea. So. No. Thank you no, for that. So, so when I started on this, it was just like, that was the natural next move mm -hmm. because it was starting to get boring. And now it's like, every time I do a cleanse, it goes in deeper and it goes in deeper because I don't have all that other stuff to get rid of that first day or even the second day. So it's made it much easier. Mm -hmm. um, but this was really kind of a different thing. The two things. The first time I did a butter shot, I felt the left side of my brain was like getting a massage. Wow. It was, it was like kind of buzzing, you know, I just was sitting, oh my in, gosh. My, sitting in my living room going, holy shit. Like it's fuel, man. It, it, the brain wants that butter. It does. Not, it was just so like, so obvious. I just sat there laughing going, oh my God. So um, there was that. And the other thing was, a friend and I were talking about the fact that I was going to, because I didn't cook either. Before, uh -huh. so you guys have me cooking. For years, I wouldn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ever eat out anymore. It's funny you should say that because last night, <laughs> all I do is cook now. I mean, I, I, I cook multiple times a day. I mean, I love to cook and I, I used to eat out quite a bit as well. And so it's so cool when you think about the, the savings of money from oh. not eating out. And you can invest that money into high, the highest quality food, the manna from heaven that's going to serve you 
and you can afford to do it just by not eating eating out. My grocery bill like dropped at least half yeah. from, from what I was eating before. The other thing I thought, two, two things. One, a friend and I were talking about the fact that I was gonna be eating more meat was gonna make me more dense and lower my vibrational frequency. Mm -hmm. um, it, did, it is making me more dense, but in a good way. Yeah. Uh, but my vibrational frequency has increased. I would agree. Yeah, and it's just like, oh man. Like the other day I went for a run. I usually just go out to the pier and then back, it's five miles around trips. So I'll go out to the pier and I'll do an Instagram live. And I went out to the pier and I was like, shit, it's closed because Universal was filming. <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, I did want to increase my distance. So, and I was feeling really good. And the only thing I'd had, I didn't even do a butter shot, was I had nitro and hydrate together. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. And I was telling my, like, I could really feel it. The yeah. body's running so clean, I could really feel it. And so I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep on going. So I went up to Perry's Pizza and then I went up to the next one. And then I went further. I'm like, oh, I'll just go up to the jetty. I ended up doing 13.2 miles that day. Holy between moly. I know. You, between, you, you had that moment. I, I'm going to just start calling it the bionic moment because I had that too. Really? I had the moment where I started crying because I thought I didn't know I was this powerful. Yeah, oh, it was me. I could feel it. And I was like, holy shit. It was a really good thing because I was looking like for the next marker, that next stoplight, that next stoplight. And I was like, okay, I don't see any more stoplights right now. And there's a guy up there in his own little world throwing stuff out on PCH. So I think this is a really good point to turn around. <laughs> and I had just posted something and I turned around and I looked one last time. I'm like, oh, there is another light. It's like, go home. You need to go home. But what I decided was, this is, I'm going to be working towards being able to do that run on a regular basis, but I need to make sure that I really prepare my body for that. Take a couple extra bucks and a hydrate stick, put it in my phone sleeve because there's, you know, I go get a bottle of water and put that in because I, I did, like, there wasn't a lot of water available anywhere. Um, I did find some. Carrie, can you talk people through this? So the top left is when I started Isogenics completely. Okay, um, hold on. Let's show them again. I'm going to show them the top left. Is that this one right? Uh, the other side. Right here. I'm just going to yes. talk so that it, it this is yep. this one right here. Go ahead. Yep. That's where I started. And then right next to that was when I started ER Shred. So that's this one right here. Yep. Okay, gotcha. And then the bottom two were me last month. And ah. just completely like yesterday I was wearing. Now, wait a, a second, because that that waist, that waist looks incredibly small there on the bottom. I mean, do you know how many inches you've lost overall? Total lost um not up to yesterday. I didn't um I didn't measure and I can't find the measure for December, but when the last time I did measure after like a month, 18 point either 25 or 75 inches. 18.25 or 75. I couldn't oh. read my writing. And is that, that's overall. And then do you know how many on the waist? No, I would say at least three or four inches. Yeah. Yeah. You, well, I mean, that, that much is obvious. You can, you can see that. I mean, it's. Uh, wow. just felt, it feels so incredible. So good. Yeah. It was so, just so easy. Yeah. So off. easy. That's so, it's so fun to hear you say that. So what I'm, what my plan is now, because I've only read some of the guides, I've watched some of the videos more than once, but I'm not doing this shred, but I'm refocusing for what is my plan for this year? How am I going to approach the rest of this year on the shreds? What do I want? And so I go back in and really study the rest of the guides so that as I take off the next part of the year, I, I my body is just going to go someplace where I don't think I've ever had it. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I want to ask you an, another question. Sure. Uh, it gets better, by the way, just to, oh. just to acknowledge what you're saying. No, it gets way better. It gets better oh, okay. and better and better because um, I'm at 18 months. And even though I'm, I'm laid up with the back, surprisingly, that this injury would have set me reeling completely if it wasn't for the ER shred. Uh, mm -hmm. But what is it you're so clued in with the community you seem to just like dig on it what what is it about that that you're loving so much 
there's so much information that you guys share so much education i mean it's so different than even other groups in isogenics mm. and i've sent people over here some people that aren't using the system but they want like i'm seeing what they're posting yeah. on facebook and i'm like i want you to go check out this group because maybe they didn't want it then they might want it later on but mm. you guys educate it's just not I don't feel like you're just doing sales at all. It's like right. we're educating on the health, on what all of this is about. I never knew about grass fed. I knew grass fed. I didn't know grass finished. Right. That's a whole different thing. I've been using carry gold, obviously, because, you know, carry carry. <laughs> hey, listen, they named a whole county after me in Ireland. Come on now. <laughs> That's pretty killer. You got your own butter. That's pretty I do. Killer. <laughs> hey, I just want to thank you. Is there anything else you want to say uh, before we close it out? No, I think I'm good. I think I covered everything. Like, just thank you for everything that you guys all do in here. It's it's a, it's a pure joy. We've got Susan Rothman on here. I don't think Jesse's on. Uh, Susan, do you want to close us out? Are you there? How do you feel about all these people? and what they've accomplished and what they've shared tonight. Susan Rothman is a holistic nurse and she's an herbalist and she is the head of our ER Shred Health Professional Board. Susan, you out there? Yeah, can you hear me, John? Yeah. yeah. Hey, okay, you. yeah. For some reason, I mute and unmute. So Jesse is on, by the way. I didn't even, I couldn't see him. Where is yeah, he? Yeah, he's doing something with Grayson, but he's on. I don't know why his name's not popping up. Right here, right here. All right, shush, Jesse. Oh, I wanted to say it something. It just says iPhone. It doesn't even say Jesse. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> so wait, I wanted, I did want to say something. Yeah, I'm right just ahead. loving this, you know, the energy of this call and everyone who shared. And of course, the emotional and the mindset stuff. It's like, that does my heart. But I love what Carrie said about the energetics of the heat because it is dense, but yet what she's describing is centered and from the core. And I think that really impacts on our emotional health because we become deeply grounded, but not weighed down. It, there's so much. I'll let Jesse close us out because he's here. But um, yeah, this was a great call. You guys always inspire us. You know, I'm glad that you're receiving the information, the education. Really, our goal here is to empower you. And like Jesse will tell you too, this is, and all of us, this is what fulfills us and um, is watching all of you come alive. And I know for sure in the last two weeks in this group is that all of you are in the same place. It's like we're all going up together. And there's so much power in that. So the future is very bright. Thank you, Susan. Hey, thank you, Jesse. I didn't know you were on. I, I was looking for you. Yes. You know, so Jesse, are you out there? Jesse's our nutrition coach. He's our ER Shred ambassador. And, and uh, he'll close us out for the night. You there, Jess? I was stealth. I was playing stealth ninja tonight. Yeah, brother. You look good in that sweatshirt. Well, thanks, man. Thanks. It's, uh, it's, it's just been a crazy night with the, with the little guy. And uh, it was just, it was all I could do to get on this, uh, get on my phone without logging in. So uh, listen, Susan already said everything. Uh, let me just tell you guys, Susan and I are, are literally like, I'm just, I'm just like the little version of her from like 20 years earlier. You know what I mean? Like she's just got some years on me. But when I tell you guys the information that her and I have been learning and diving into and the hours that we spend geeking out and calling each other and being like, oh my God, can you see, can all these testimonials are, are fitting all into that, Sean, it, it literally is backing everything. And we're not going to go into all the science and the mumbo jumbo, because I'll be honest with you, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to the situation of the ER shred. Like I am so, I'm just so full of so much gratitude that, that I can listen um, to these people and, and, and literally see in their face and hear in their tone and, and just watch in their eyes 
I mean, that's life. You know what I mean? Like, this is something like Susan said, this is what we live for. This is what we've been trying to do for so many years. And just to know that we can be that small piece that those tracks that people can run on. um, You know what I mean? Like, the cool thing is, you know, we're not doing anything crazy if we think about it. Like, we're just teaching people no bullshit. We're teaching people what real food looks like. We're teaching people what nutrients and vitamins and minerals can do to this amazing thing we call the human body. And, and, and we're, we're letting people, we're giving them that space. They're having that connection, that mind, that body, the, the mind heals the body, the body heals the mind. And, you know, Susan and I were talking about this and we definitely think it's the body heals the mind and then it goes the other way around. And I mean, think about it, like think about what's going on. And, and then we hear all these remarkable, amazing stories. So kudos to every one of you who shared. Um, I'm so thankful for you. I know Sean's probably gushed over you. I'm going to continue to gush over you. I don't, number one, I'm so proud of you because it literally puts you in a different place. When you can step into that vulnerability, you have just secured a new level. I'm telling you from a health coaching perspective, um, watch out because if you think you've accomplished a lot now, when you just did this, the floodgates are going to open. You're going to keep pouring. And I'm just so thankful for that, for you, for, for the journey you're going to be on. Um, for me, you know, somebody asked me, what the hell am I doing? Why am I still so motivated after all these years? And I said, you know what? I said, I started off really crazy as this little 18 year old kid. And I just, I, I was the fat kid growing up. Like I just wanted to be the muscle guy. And that led me down a path of destruction, to be honest with you. And I fast forward to today and somebody goes, well, what are you doing? Like, why do you keep doing all this? Why do you keep tweaking and, and doing like you're 42 years old, you're running up mountains, you're doing all that. I'm like, listen to me. I go, not only is it about increased athletic performance for me today, but here's the main focus. This is the foundation, the main focus that I think everybody should strive for. Um, the goal for me is living the highest quality, functional, like mind, body, functioning, working as I age and get into my 80s and 90s and 100s. And when I look at the people that have made it there and they've, they've done these practices, they've taken care of their temple, they, they serve themselves, the vibrant life that they're able to live. The one thing, Sean, that scares the living heck out of me now is, be, is getting to that age and looking back going, man, I wish I would have just done it. So Mm -hmm. that's why it's so important for everybody when they have this courage and they step up on this call and they do these things, like you're stepping into that uncomfort place, that uncomfort, that, that, that not comfort zone, right? Like, and we all know that nothing good happens in the comfort zone. We all know that perpetual growth happens outside that comfort zone, but it's scary. And to know that we have that place for people and all of it, like, listen, man, I could gush and gush and gush forever. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Like, if you thought I was excited on day one, like, I know even more now and have seen this now that I'm even more excited. And I'm just so thankful to have a massive army of shredders behind us um, that can keep this ripple effect because people freaking deserve what the ER shred delivers just in the sense of community and, and, and feeling love and feeling accepted that alone, that alone has enough to change the course of someone's life. So that, that's what I just felt in my heart tonight, you know, in a whim. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much, man. It's, it's always a good charge. You always send us off with a good positive charge to do more, to show up more, to reach more people. So I, I second what Jesse said, which is we are so proud of all of you. Thank everybody. you, Everybody, yeah. All right, let's open this call up. Everybody, if you want to clap Thank for our, our heroes that showed up tonight, please yes. unmute yourself and Absolutely. clap for our Good night, everybody. Go ahead, go ahead, Heather, yeah, go ahead. 8.30 Eastern tomorrow night, Bob Sivright's call. I will be his guest, and I'm going to go deeper into the tools on the shred. Okay, say, so it again. say it again, yeah. just in case. Say it again, Heather. 8.30 tomorrow night, the Shredders Unite biz call. We are going to also share in the ER Shred group because I am going to be going deeper into the tools that are available to make sure everybody knows how we can easily share the shred around the protocol and around sharing your story. So awesome. that will be live tomorrow night with Bob at 8.30. Awesome. Yay. Thank okay. you, everybody.
Thanks, Greg. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody. Thank you. Good night. Awesome Eastern call. time. What, where are you located? Eight thirty Eastern, five thirty Pacific. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you back, Mel. Thank you. Love you, Heidi. I saw you just now. Yes, Mel, you you too. Mel, you got the memo. You got the memo. What memo? <laughs> you wore the same memo. shirt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, you're feeling Mimi. better, Mimi. I am. I was out all day. Yay. Excellent. Good night, Hi. lovies. Good night, y'all. I'll see you in Florida. Two weeks. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Unless Bye -bye. I'm in Delray five days a week, I'm going to come and see you, girl. <laughs>